Hey, what's up, guys? This is Kev with Kev D Fitness, and I filmed one of my arm routines, and I wanted to show it to you guys. Now, previously, I had been doing two arm-specific workouts a week while I was on my bulk. I've now cut that down to only one per week. What I had been doing was going in and doing about five to six reps for both my biceps and my triceps in each of those two workouts. Now, I'm down to only one per week. Uh, what I found was it just works first cutting back on one of those routines allows me to put in a cardio session in the morning which I need and second my arms are even though I'm getting stronger in my arm exercises they're not really growing much I've almost maxed out my growth on my arms at this point and, and, and that's going to happen guys you're going to get to the point sometimes you're just not going to get any bigger on your arms so here I'm doing a close grip branch press couple form tips notice the shoulder width grip I don't go down to touch my chest I go to where my arms are about parallel to the floor that's about three inches or so above the chest doing that allows me to keep the focus more on my triceps and less on my shoulders now how I do my arm routines is I alternate between triceps exercise and biceps exercise so while I'm resting my triceps from doing the close grip bench press I'm jumping in and doing some alternating dumbbell curls here so here I've got 60 pound dumbbells and I'm going to be doing sets of 10 and in this workout I ended up doing three sets of 10 on my alternating dumbbell curls and also three sets of I was shooting for nine reps on my uh, close grip bench press so as you can see guys I'm doing my best here to keep my elbow as stationary as possible and just flex for my elbows without um, bringing my elbows up when you do that the front delt will start to take over the, the movement and you're going to be getting less activation in your biceps. So you're just going to be doing less of the work. So that, that's the main thing. And, I'm, and the weights, the dumbbells get heavier. I, I it's, try my best not to swing the weight too much. That way I can really focus the movement on my biceps. And hopefully get you know as much strength and, uh, and muscle growth out of them as I can. But like I said, my, my arms are not really getting much bigger. That's about the one muscle group on this bulk that really didn't get that much bigger for me is my arms and, and I'm naturally have very skinny arms so the growth that I have in there <laughs> is pretty phenomenal for me I'm you know I'm a tall lanky guy I'm six foot one so you know what what I have achieved I'm pretty pretty happy with I, I, I would I do I do think that my triceps grew pretty pretty good over this course of this bulk my biceps not quite as much a little bit you know I do measure my biceps beforehand and when I'm flexed with no pump I'm at about 17 inches around and prior to my start of my bulk I was at about 16 inches so you could say oh I put on an inch over six months but some of that's going to be body fat and as I cut it off that measurement is going to go down so here's my second set on the on the close grip bench press I, I start use that as my first triceps exercise and I think it's really one of the best triceps exercises you can do. It really allows you to put a real heavy weight on the bar and put a real heavy overload on, on your triceps, something you can't do with isolation exercises typically. Then I move forward into what I feel, what I feel is one of my favorite isolation exercises for the triceps, and that's rope pull-downs and, and spreading them at the bottom. And that'll really hit the the head on the side of your arms, the triceps head on the side of your arms really hard, help give you that 3D look when you're looking at you uh, from the front. So that's, this is one of my favorite, favorite exercises to do. And I'm doing about 60 pounds there plus a sled, not really that much weight. It's, it's, it's after, after hitting up the close grip bench press, it's, it's hard to do really that much weight on, uh, on my isolation movements afterwards. But I, I do my best, and as long as I'm making progress going up in weight or reps uh, from week to week, I'm, I'm pretty happy. So then I moved on to what I alternated the, the rope pull downs with was this alternating hammer, cor hammer curl. And notice I do them in a diagonal fashion. I, I take, if my right arm, for example, I bring the dumbbell towards my left pec. What this allows you to do is really focus on your brachialis muscle, that little muscle in between your biceps and your triceps and that really helps give your arm some thickness and when you get cut and you can see that muscle it really it really is uh, impressive and what uh, the reason I don't do them a lot of people that do them they bring them sh the, 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 
the hammer curls, they bring the dumbbell straight in front of them. I feel that hits, takes the forearm takes over that motion a lot, and I'm not really trying to work my forearms on that exercise. I'm trying to work that brachialis muscle, so I want the focus to be on be on the brachialis. So that's just the the, the, the motion that I prefer. If you like doing your hammer curls in, directly in front of you, do them in that fashion. So here I'm finishing off the workout with some triceps kickbacks. This is one of my favorite exercises to really finish uh, my tr an arm workout with. I, I don't recommend doing this at the beginning of your arm work or even in the middle. Do it at the end. It's it's uh, you know obviously a really good isolation exercise. You hit all three heads of the triceps, and it's an exercise you can't really use all that much weight on. As you can see here, I'm doing I'm doing sets of 12, and I'm using only 35 pounds. And, that 35 pounds doesn't sound a lot, but when you're isolating the tricep by itself, it's pretty tough. Uh, when I first started doing this exercise a few months ago, or I shouldn't say first started doing it, but rotated it back into the exercises that I was doing for my arms, I started off at 20 pounds. So I've made quite a bit of progress on this exercise. And like I said, I really like it. It's one of the best exercises to use as a finisher at the end of an arm workout. You really get a really good pump, and it hits all the heads of, of your triceps, guys. So there's the workout guys, three triceps exercise, two biceps exercise, looking for growth, looking for muscle. Please do click like guys if you like the uh, video.